Hi YouTube. It's been a while since I actually made a video, which is just my video. Um, essentially, I have yet to use this camera because I only have two little cassettes and both of them are filled up with uh, memories I'd rather keep instead of lose. So yeah, my family's little trip to, and when I mean my family, I mean my family, and not my mom and dad, just me as dad and you know my fiance as a wife so um our trip to disneyland with a uh, little ethan so i'm never gonna destroy that that's that's always gonna be there um but anyways just an idea i thought of um that i'd like to kind of get you guys' uh, opinion on those of you who watch me um and rather want to interact so essentially I was driving on the way home and I was wondering what's your top five most played songs on your iTunes. Um, so I just wanted to give a quick little run through and uh, try, kind of explain why they are that way. Um, most of the songs I listen to on repeat are songs that make me think a lot or uh, something I play as I go to bed and I find really soothing. So don't be surprised that you start knocking out some of these songs. First one up is a Kings and Convenience uh, Real Spop uh, remix to I Don't Know What I Can Save You From. Um, let me add a little gander at it. So, two people I rather enjoy Kings and Convenience and uh, Real Spop. Real Spop always has some nice beats going along and. Kings of Convenience, just make it hard work, is rather splendid, so that just seems to go really easy together for me. Oh, by the way, that's my engagement ring. Ah, viciousness. Rah, rah, rah. So nothing too special there. Beirut, Venice. The song is just be shit. Uh, when you're trying to relax. I remember long nights at work and then driving home with this song in the rain and it was really pretty awesome. So it's one of those Beirut songs that doesn't really play off of uh, their big band nest except once you hear the trumpets come in. Um, so wait for that. But that's always uh, fantastic. I've always been more of a the electronic noise for Beirut but I don't know, that's just my taste in music. Not to say the rest of the stuff isn't great, but it's just an amazing band. And all these songs I haven't listened to in a while, um, just because I've been too busy to listen to them, I guess. So, let's get out of that. Then MC Chris. Um, I ended up listening to this because of a YouTube user. Uh, why can't I remember his name? I'll put him in the little description. But um, he had this song as a self-portrait song. And just the way he used it, his little beats, and it ended up being a skip of his video. I'm sure. Oh, Corporal Cadet. If you don't know who he is, check out his videos. He's wonderful at everything he does. Yeah. Uh, I just got really into that song because of that video. Symphony of Sleep, or no wait, Symphony of Science, it's a Carl Sagan's audio clips mashed together to make this amazing song with this guy's original uh, beats in the back, featuring Stephen Hawking, but I really enjoy this song, I'm just a nerd. If you wish to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. I feel so weird every time I start singing the song, everyone's like, what the hell are you singing? I was going to be singing stuff like that. And last one is my transition song, which, um, it's helped me with a lot of, uh, just moments in my life where I really feel like I've grown in, or grown like a new set of skin, or 
um, just dealt with something really stressful and really amazing. So it's really gone through with all that. And with like, I don't know, I haven't had the iTunes on my computer for that long, but I've played the song 615 times and I've only had it maybe like two, three months. So yeah, it's only two minutes, 24 seconds, but this song just means a lot to me. It's a... Uh, Omar Rodriguez Lopez uh, from the Solar Gambling album, and it's, uh, I don't even know how to say it, Boing Care, okay, even, I'm Spanish, but I can't say it, yeah, here you go. I wish I knew to play piano and make it sound that dramatic. Now you know how people will say, you know, that's probably not even um, the lyrics that are that important to me because I just treat the human voice as another instrument. So, you know, I can. That's why I really appreciate that Pogo, or how's it No, no Pagatron. Um, he just chops up audio from a bunch of different uh, Disney clips and he started doing his own little just, uh, natural sounds and his mother speaking. Um, but he just chops it up and it doesn't have to make sense with what they're saying. It's just the way the voice is presented. And um, that's why this song, it just hits a chord in my mind and um, it really lets everything just flow out. Just this hum, man. I think it's in part two that um, I used this hum, or my grandparents always used this little hum when I used to be a little kid and when I'd be going to bed. And like I, I do it now, you know, for my son. Um, I just hum and it's just soothing. And then I think I've just grown off of that from what he presents in the song. And it's just an adult version of this comfort that I had as a child. So. That song really means a lot to me. Um, so that's it. That's eight minutes worth of video. Um, so essentially, yeah, if you want to partake, make a video response, or just post a, a comment of your top five songs and what it is about them that uh, makes them your top. You know, it may not be, per se, your own musical taste. It may be just some song that just went on playing on repeat for a while. Um, or it really does uh, mean something to you, or just always fun. Uh, yeah, like Buddy Holly for me. It's such a kick ass song. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. No, really, I hope. I hope and pray, even though I'm not very religious. But, anyways, enough of that. Have a nice day, night, late night, whatever time you're watching this. Okay? Enjoy your day. Bye.